Courtney with WinBeta, and this is the third video in a series on Microsoft's Android apps. Microsoft has been releasing Android apps for several years at this point, offering increased polish and utility with every update. Together, they offer a really compelling proposition. Go all in with Microsoft services and still keep your choice of platform. Today, we're looking at a mix of Microsoft's productivity-focused apps, OneDrive, OneNote, and Wonderlist. OneDrive is Microsoft's answer to the Dropboxes and Google Drives of the world, a mostly ubiquitous and cloud-based solution for storing files of all kinds for easy access. The Android client is attractive and effective, with the recent iterations pulling heavily from Android's material design to keep its UI in line with the rest of the platform. The app ties in with either a personal or business OneDrive account, allowing for up to one of each to be running side by side. All of the features you'd expect are accounted for, from browsing and organizing files to managing shared documents and auto-uploading any captured photos and videos. Some more surprising features include support for Google's Cast platform, passcode protection for the app, and a photo viewer that is much better suited for media than a standard file browser. Microsoft has even recently added in the ability to pin documents offline for when you're out of signal or for files you use often to preserve precious data. Microsoft has been giving 15 gigabytes of free storage for new accounts, but will soon be dropping it to five gigabytes. Overall, the app is well-rounded and offers an easy to manage base for many of Microsoft's other apps. OneNote is a member of the Office family and is actually the first of the suite to be released on Android back in 2012. The Android app is not as fully featured as its desktop counterpart, but does support some pretty cool features, like drawing and writing on the notes you make. OneNote's approach to organization, the notebook section page model, makes a lot of sense and allows for very intricate notebooks. All of your notes are stored in your OneDrive account with no support for Dropbox like the rest of the Office suite, though you can have both a OneDrive and OneDrive for Business account set up simultaneously. One unique feature of OneNote on Android is the OneNote badge. When you trigger the badge, it will give you a dialogue to quickly add a note with text or an image. There are four ways to trigger the badge. Add a home screen icon, add a persistent notification, start it from the menu in the app, or a persistent icon very similar to Bing's. OneNote is a very powerful app, and it can be anything that you want it to be if you know how to use it. Even though Wonderlist is a note-taking app, it's a very different beast from OneNote. It's much more of a straightforward to-do list, but it really shines in its wide feature set and presentation. The app is gorgeous, with elegant animations tying every interaction together. The emphasis on the beautiful backgrounds is appreciated as well, but it is disappointing that you can't set custom images. The core concept in Wonderlist is the idea of sharing to-do lists. It will even give you notifications when someone has made a change or left a comment. The organization options in Wonderlist are powerful, allowing you to create new tasks in your inbox before organizing them into individual lists, sort groups of lists into folders, and even create subtasks. The app is free by default, but also has a pro tier that expands some of the options. The app's core is incredibly straightforward, but allows for a near obsessive amount of control and organization. Each app has a different approach to sharing ideas and files, allowing for a varied tool set when collaborating or just trying to keep your life organized. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, which is why they're so powerful when you use them back to back. Any thoughts, opinions, or requests for new videos? We've got plenty more videos coming about Microsoft's Android apps, so let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel because we post new videos all the time, and keep an eye on our website at wimbeta.org for more Microsoft news and reviews.